Okay, welcome to week four of Honey Pups. Uh, we have a bunch of new dogs. Uh, this is Kona. She is our pup of the week. Trying to get her a home. Um, I don't know much about her, but uh, we have, with everything going on in Corona and stuff, I haven't got to meet a bunch of the dogs uh, as much as I usually do. But uh, she's a uh, cattle dog, I believe. So... If you're interested, uh, you can uh, check out and listen to the end of this video. We'll go from there. Have two more new dogs, Chaco and Taco, some Chihuahua mixes. And again, I don't know much about them, but they're up for adoption. This is Rocket. He's one of the other new guys we got recently. Then you have Karma. She did her freedom ride recently. This mama is very malnourished. They got her yesterday on Thursday. Um, they found her under a shed and she had all these little puppies and look at those ribs showing. So when we rescued her, she has 10 puppies. So now we have 19 puppies here at Pup and Cat Company. Let's get onto the videos and I'll tell you more in the hey, end here about the pups. going to be a quick inspection here. Um, everything's wet, so I couldn't get the smoker. Not a whole lot of activity over on this side. Busby's barking at a cat. He's about to lose his damn mind. Hey, Buzzy. Buzzy, 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 come here. Come here. What are you doing? Uh, now get out of there. Out. Yeah, that was my bad. I called you. A little heathen. But anyway, as you can see, this is uh, what is today? Today's Friday. This is week four. So it's uh, it's been a month since I installed them. And uh, this is where we were seeing all that activity before. Everything's wet. Smoker wouldn't light. I mean, it's just been a nightmare. So we're going to go in here. I'll the edit this off. as we go. And I got a little bit of water in that lid. I don't know if I need to reseal it. But there is some, definitely some water there. I got a water drop there. Let's look and see how... Oh, a little bit of propolization going on there. This is going to be real quick and easy today. We're going to... Ah. First thing we're going to do is get that and lean it up there. I know my queen's not on there. And that is not a hive beetle. I don't know what the hell that is. So we're going to kind of look down here. Here's a bee. It's getting ready to sting me. I can just tell by the way he's flying. But we got a lot of activity. So I'm going to get down here. I'm going to ease this frame up. Watch out, little bee. That wire's gonna go up your booty. Oh, God. Okay, I'm gonna have to do it with two hands. Okay. Um, oh. This is that center frame. No signs you can see. Where did it go? Where is it? See all that wax? Um, there is no signs of honey or nectar. Um, I think I'm gonna leave things alone. Um, I just need some more time. Um, I really think I painted too much of that wax on there. Let's have a look and see if we can see anything going in down here. Eh, there's one with his head stuck in there. But, all right. Anyway, not as much as I would have. Get in there. B, I will squish you. Not as much as I would liked. Um, Oh, I'm getting ready to get stung. I can just feel it when they start getting ready. But, look at that gap. These gaps. You need to keep these gaps right. You want everything tight to the middle. So, let's check this side. Oh. Maybe we'll see one or two over here. Ah, uh, we got one. Two, huh? Yeah, I just I think I painted a little too much wax on there. Let's see if we can get this one up. Oh, you can see, that's all wax I painted. So these guys are having a hell of a time cleaning it. So I probably shouldn't have made as much. But let's see what's going on down here. I don't know if the lighting's good and you can see, but there is a shoot ton of bees in there. So, get that back in there. I 
I really expected to be stung quite a bit by now. I gotta set the camera down. I'm gonna set it down. Maybe you can see into that little crevice. Wow. It's just dying for me to get stung here. There we go. Now you can kind of see down there. Kind of an interesting view. There's a bee right in front of the camera. Anyway, they're probably like him. Well, that's kind of disappointing. Um, I was really hoping to have more than that. Golly. You want to talk about something that tickles. A bee lands on you and walks on your legs. Oh, my God. It's worse than Joe Biden tickling a little girl's leg or boy's leg. That was my political joke for the day. Really wasn't that funny. Anyway, um, here you can kind of really see that water. So, I... I may even get a different type of lid if uh, you don't want that. I mean, I, they can drink it, which I've been told. A uh, bug farmer told me that. But uh, that's probably not a good sign because if it's raining in there or getting water in there, they aren't going to be happy. And I want happy bees. So let's see what this guy's doing. He didn't want to be filmed, obviously. Nobody else up on the top. Looks like a drip of water. What is that? I don't know what that was. Here, here's this guy back. He's not camera shy. But this is the top of the flow frame. Um, these are all plastic. And uh, these are working it. Just I think I painted way too much wax. So I may not have honey as quick as I thought. Um, let's see, week three, I should, in theory, I should have about 7,000 new baby bees, but I've probably lost about 14,000 just due to old age, so my count's probably a little lower than it was when I first started, but you look in there and it doesn't look as low. Anyway, I'm gonna seal this back up, it's kind of a bummer. But, uh, it is what it is. You know, I gotta go on their schedule. There's Sammy over there. You can kind of see some of them coming in. Let's see what the entrance board looks like. Entrance board looks pretty good. So, anyhow. Alright, well, thank you for watching. Um, I'll have to put a few more dog pictures in here. We had a ton of dogs. Uh, looks like the folks who are gonna rent, not rent, the folks who are gonna adopt Loretta um, are going to be able to get her. Um, they had some, a little bit of a landlord issue. Um, the puppies are two weeks old now. There's a bee trying to land on me. See that guy flying around the camera? He's about to land on my finger. Ugh, and that's the worst when it, oh, look at those two. Just like peeking their head up. Is he gone yet? Um, anyway, the puppies will be up for adoption soon. Um, they just rescued a malnourished mom. I mean, you can see ribs and stuff, and she's got 10 puppies. So, Pup and Cat has nine, or 19 puppies right now, um, and that's a lot. Um, we've got to find those fosters. We've got to get them all fixed and taken care of and find them good homes. That costs money, so uh, hence honey sales, and if you can uh, afford to donate a couple bucks to Pup and Cat Company, I know they'll appreciate it. Um, you don't even have to mention me by name just uh, go and you can donate it anonymous if you want or donate it yourself or however you want anyway i'm donating a lot of time and all the proceeds of this honey if they ever make it are gonna get going so these bees need to you bees need to get going for these dogs all right all right everybody this little guy right here this little girl where'd she go let's see if we can see over her yeah i don't see her there anyway this little bee says bye sitting here and I was doing the uh, audio to the video and guess who came up this is Gus he's one of the rescues from Pup and Cat and this is his normal position where he likes to lay down um, he a little story about him is uh, he got hit by a car or something had a really bad broken leg they thought they were gonna have to amputate it they did and I fostered him and then I failed and now he's my best buddy he likes to catch bees he's not very bee friendly he, Catches them and eats them and then doesn't get stung or something. 
anyway um thank you for watching what'd you see buddy thank you for watching um those dogs and the puppies i showed you they're going to be at pup and cat uh company it's p-u-p -P, and then the word and and then c-a-t and then c-o um we're on facebook there's a email address it's www.pupandcatcompany.com and that's all one word anyway i cannot think of anything else i was really kind of bummed about the bee situation so was gus i don't think he caught any hey gus hey hey what are you doing he's being shy what are you looking at you're supposed to be looking at the camera can you show me your brother hey buzzy 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 oh well nobody wants to be photogenic hold on a second are you there buzz you're on TV or on YouTube. Anyway, um, I am going to get showered and get cleaned up and go over to Courtney's. And uh, like I said, I'm kind of bummed about the bees. I was so excited to go in there today. Ugh, sorry, I got my head all I'm chilling on the bed doing this audio. But anyway, I was excited about do the bees and it was kind of a letdown. Anyway, we will see you guys next week. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. As Gus is licking his privates.